Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video I'm going to be going over Ivan Nova who is an S class character coming to the League Season 10 store. She is claimable for 35,000 tokens. I picked her up of course, she is a must pick up for me. I think it should be a must pick up for anybody. Even if you don't think she's good, she's not going to be useful for your roster. She is an S class character and that is pretty much the future and she's a leader as well so she brings a lot to the table in terms of of team build potential in the future for your roster so i have claimed her obviously and leveled her up she is now tier 2 level 1 so we're going to get a reasonable idea of the sort of builds you can get with her she has got a maxed out active a maxed out rush i'm going to have all of that stuff good you're not going to get her to the full extent obviously one of the biggest things that s class characters bring to the table is huge amounts of stats so she hasn't got the huge amounts of stats that she could get but she's still got over eight and a half thousand total stats so you know she's still packing quite a punch her attack stat is still reasonably high it will be boosted by the mods and the weapon that we're going to put in her hands as well now first up we'll look at the upgrade requirements to get her from tier one to tier two she did not need much at all it needed the normal gear just the normal upgrade gear so nothing too special to get her from tier two to tier three she does need 15 letterman jackets and 40 baseball caps and to get her from tier three to tier four she needs 45 letterman jackets and 40 baseball caps again so in total she needs 60 letterman jackets and 80 baseball caps now you can have these stocked up from purchasing them in your league section of the store but if you haven't got enough right now i think one of the best places to buy them is in the newly introduced section in the actual season store and this is because your league tokens can actually get normal gear mods that sort of thing as well so it's better to spend them in here especially if you have an excess of tokens However, it is worth noting the amount of Letterman jackets and baseball caps you can get in the season store isn't enough to max out Ivanova, so you will have to purchase some from your league store anyway if you haven't already. So I'll move on to mods, and there are two ways you can mod this character. You can mod her more offensively, that shows she has a higher damage output herself, or you can make her more of a support character if you feel you have enough damage in the attack team that she's going to be in anyway. She will most likely be used as a leader for the majority of people. I think that's the main thing she brings to the table is her active and obviously her leader skill. Her rush is okay, but she does get outshined in terms of damage by other characters. But she is one of the few defense down characters out there at the moment. So could be a support character in certain setups. So for a more offensive build, these are the first three mods I'll go for. I would use attack set. I would use attack on attack and attack versus fast. This is because... She's not really going to deal that much damage compared to other characters. But against fast characters already, she is going to deal increased amounts of damage because obviously she is a strong character. If you want to double down on that attack advantage, you are more likely to take people out with her rush, with her basic attacks are going to hit really, really hard. Stun resist is kind of the norm. However, long term, Ivanova primarily will be used against fast and tough teams. That's going to be where melee teams just do pure trait damage. On fast and tough teams, there isn't going to be much stun. There's no stun on weapons. It's only going to be down to stun on actives and stuns on rushes. At this point, if you are only coming up against fast and tough teams with Ivanova teams, you would primarily want to go with impair resist because tough characters will be running impair on defense and even potentially impair on attack. However, for now, I will be using stun resist just because... There are not too many tough fast teams out just yet, but we will have Aaron coming out in the future, so that is much more likely to be a defensive option. For her last two slots, I definitely would go with AP Drain, just because having some control is good. Her basic attacks will now have a chance of draining the enemy's AP, and then I'd increase her HP. This is because out of the two defensive stats, her HP is the lowest, and you just want to make her HP and defense balanced if you can. You could also go for crit if you just wanted to hit a bit higher on her basic attacks. It really depends on how much you would rely on her as an actual damage dealer. So this is how I'd build her if you wanted to have her as a damage dealer. This is how I'd build her mods if I wasn't purely relying on her for damage, just because if I had other damage dealers pretty much, which I do. If you have an attack team where you have two other damage dealers, 
You don't really need Ivanova to hit as hard. You're going to rely on those other characters. Ivanova's survivability will be more important to your success. The only real difference here is I've changed it to a defense mod over a HP mod and changed it from attack set to HP set. As you can see, her HP and defense have been boosted slightly. Now her overall stats are 10,000 plus and this is her as tier two level one. When she gets maxed out, obviously, those are gonna be massively boosted. Now, when it comes to using veteran rings on this character, you don't actually have to prioritize her veteran rings just because she, you're not relying on her stats as a character. The main things you're relying on are her active skill and her leader skill. You wanna see her rush as more of a bonus and you wanna see her basic attacks obviously as more of a bonus. So you don't need to raise those offensive stats. She's not a character that's going to go on your defense and your attack team. Although you could potentially use her on your defense team just for that active. Everyone getting focused for two turns is actually pretty powerful but that's pretty much all she's going to bring to the table on a defense team. So when it comes to Ivanova in a team, the best thing to obviously go for is a stun on attack weapon. If you do want to use her on a defense team, maybe go for a more defensive weapon. But as we're going to be using her on an attack team, we're going to go with an offensive weapon and it's going to be a violent reinforced katana stun on attack weapon. The better you have, obviously, if you have got the new stun with the sustain that'll be a nice little boost so she can self heal when she gets that stun in and now you can see her stats have been boosted quite heavily this is with her leader skill and the weapon obviously multiplying together it's going to be an addition to her base attack and those mods so she's nearly up to 7k at tier 2 level 1 so obviously she's gonna pack a reasonable punch but as i said before i am going to be relying on other characters to do the damage for her now we're going to build the rest of the team and we're going to slowly tear up the power. First off, we're going to start with a bit more free to play accessible characters in terms of characters we've either been given or characters that we can get our hands on quite easily. So this is the first team I'm going to go with. James was obviously in the gold brick collection. Bruce Allen Cooper was in leagues previously. Glenn has been in the supply depot for a very, very long time. And then we have Lee who is also in the survival road depot as a shield. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a good team, but it is just a team that you can make behind Ivanova if you have these characters. And James's damage output obviously should be pretty decent just because Ivanova's defense down. Bruce Allen Cooper obviously comes in with the attack up. And then we've got Glenn to get certain things off quickly if we so need. Bruce Allen Cooper is also good because he has quite a bit of control. The obvious lacking situation here is we are going to run into issues when it comes to decaps because we're relying heavily on James to get the damage done. And unless we can keep people down, down, well it's going to be an issue i would not take this in against peak teams at all because he is obviously a range leader and he's going to have alert characters behind him so you want to primarily use this against teams that are not going to have alert characters on the defense so because it's very hard to find these tough and fast characters to come up against in raids i'm going to have to attack my own defense team now obviously my defense team is a much more powerful than my attack team because it's got premium characters in it. It's got characters that are much more powerful. The Doc and the Arav in this team especially are basically just nukers. Uh, the only thing I can rely on here is stun on attack. I could potentially get lucky. I'm also not using 8% weapons, so I haven't got too many open windows on my weaker characters. So I'm basically going to go all in on controlling Arav and just hope for the best from there. So we'll just focus on him. As long as I can get a stun in and he's going to... Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Orange is not going to get me today. But we'll have a command on Doc. And we will get a bonus HP boost as well coming up on the next turn. We just need to... Make sure we take our arrow. The second I take our arrow, it's all good. Which we should do. We should do. We can't defense down now, actually. So Ivanova's rush is going to be uh, less less uh, effective. We are going to get an attack boost from Bruce Allen Cooper. And we can see what we can do from here. Job done. That's pretty much all we needed to do at this point. Um, we can just maybe try and control someone else with her. I'm going to save her rush until the defense down block actually comes up. We'll see. Let me see if I can let me see if I can stun her. I can kill her. That's fine. We can kill her. Okay, it's taking a bit of time, but we we can uh, we can definitely get it done. She has got a two-turn defense down as well, so I can go in fairly early with that. 
and the damage output is going to be pretty decent. There we go. So, not the cleanest win, not the quickest either, but it was against a much more powerful defense team. It took seven turns, but as long as you neutralize damage dealers in those sort of setups, you should be okay. So we're going to bump it up just a little bit in terms of the power. I'm going to remove the shield and we're going to add Arav. Obviously, this is just one premium character in here who I've grinded for and managed to get over the course of time. I would definitely say Arav will work with Ivanova pretty well. You are going to run into the same issues, though, in terms of the teams you can face. And seeing as you are taking some six stars here and seeing as I am taking some six stars here, you just need to be very careful again to try and avoid alert characters if possible. So we are going to come up against a angel team and it has got some alert characters in here but the big deal here which is good obviously is i don't have any first turn active so angel's kind of ineffective against this team as part of her leader skill doesn't really do much now the biggest issue i'm going to have is because i have arav i need to control angel i have got three chances to get a stun on her and we don't do it we do not do it unfortunately so she's going to get her active off that means if I do rush with Arav, he will nuke himself. It is, uh, it is confirmed. He will nuke himself. Now, we don't have too much control on the defense. I'm just going to uh, slowly but surely decide what I'm going to do here. I think I'll just improve everyone's stats. Why not? Why not? And I will do AP down on this line. Oh, it's not a line. I thought it was a line. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So he will kill himself here, but I will kill Priya. I, in my mind, that's like a like-for-like like exchange. That's pretty okay. So Ivanova obviously tanks that because it's only a little bit of damage. And with Ivanova, we're now going to defense down this line. And I should be able to take these two out with James. Maybe. Yes. So not too bad, even though it is obviously um, got some alert characters here. It'll just take a little bit of time to to just whittle down the big boy himself. We'll get him down though. In the end, in the end. There he goes. So in this last attack, we're going to upgrade it again with just another premium character. This is going to allow James and Arav to attack turn two. If you do have a similar setup to this, it means that you can do your active on turn two with Ivanova to give James and Arav a boost and it should turn out fairly decently. So I decided to take on a Mercer team. Not ideal, not the ideal way to go, but I wanted to test it out fully. The downside of this obviously is it depends on which characters don't get controlled in terms of which characters are going to be able to get their rushes early. So it does look like it's not gonna be James this time around. So we'll do Dr. Stevens active. We'll get a little bit of AP on him. And then we'll just try and control the dock. We managed to get Angel as well, which is great. And then um, we'll try and get a stun in here. It gets resisted, it gets resisted, okay. So what we can do here is we can do the active of Ivanova to get a damage boost for Arav and rush him three times. I'm probably going to do this just so that I can take out the top line. He isn't going to have much defense. Yeah, he's not very defensive because he's behind a Mercer. That is the downside of Mercer characters. So I'll do Ivanova's active. And then we'll rush with Arav. And then rush with Arav. And then command him again and rush with Arav. And then we're good, pretty much. We're good. Now, we'll conf yeah, we'll confuse because he's going to... And then we'll just rush with Arav again. So that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. That was, what, four turns? It would have been a little bit quicker. I mean, it really depends on who gets control at that point. So I have set up a friendly defense just to hit myself, basically. And these are all six-star characters. This isn't too difficult a team. I know the issues here. There is obviously a stun on attack weapon here. So I know it's an easy window. I just want to show you the easy bypass of shields. If you were to come up against a much diff more difficult team, that is. And as long as we don't control the shield, we don't. That's great. I would have reset if we did. It, let's just say this isn't the first time I've run this. And we just can try and control a little bit. 
And as you can see now, it's the first turn, effectively, that we get to do rushes and we can bypass shields by doing her active and I can select anybody at this point if I wanted to. And it's just as simple as that. That's the thing that makes that active so good. You can utilize it that way and then you can just obviously melt through this team. I don't think there's mods on many of these characters, if I'm honest, so that wasn't going to last too long anyway. So I'll do another last attack, and this is just to show her rush, doubling down in terms of doing her rush first, then somebody else's. We'll do the same as we did last time in terms of gaining AP. It doesn't matter who we control because we can obviously do the line damage on the shield. And that's absolutely fine. We are going to get exhausted a little bit. Just have to run the risk of getting impaired on that first attack if you do not control the shield. I'd say controlling the shield is generally the best way to go. So you could do her rush and now they've got minus 25% defense. Again, like I said, Lao Po is a maxed out 6 star, but she hasn't got any mods, so she's going to take a lot of damage. But it's going to be much more increased damage with someone on the follow-up, and that's the great thing. And obviously, you're going to win, even if you do have someone get destroyed by exhaust. So that was just some mods, weapon, and team build ideas for Ivanova. Obviously, you can do what you want. If you have other ideas, do let me know. Her stats maxed out as an S-Class are over 12k, and I was running with her with stats with just over 10, so she is going to do more damage. She's going to take less damage. She's going to have, obviously, a lot more survivability. Now, obviously, you can boost those stats heavily with mods. I had around about 500 boost in each of those stats, so instantly she'd become a lot more dangerous looking. She'd have over 4k HP over 5k attack base. Add to that leader skill, weapon, and you get the idea. But do tell me your ideas for Ivanova, how you're going to use her. This is primarily, like I said, going to be her as an attacking leader. She can be used as a support character if you so wish. She could potentially be used on a defense team as well. That active isn't terrible. That means, obviously, things like taunt and things like Things like Taunt and Confuse will not be an issue turn two onwards. But that is the end of my video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.